Argo extreme terrain vehicles have occupied a very special place in the off-road industry for over 50 years. When you own this kind of market dominance, what does a complete makeover of the vehicle look like? It's true, the Argo platform, and specifically the legendary Frontier 6 and 8-wheeled Argo variants, have been the benchmark for extreme terrain navigation for decades. These iconic vehicles have endured the test of time and proven themselves fully worthy of the XTV handle. That being said, Argo is on a mission to reinvent, update, rethink, and thoroughly modernize their XTVs beginning last year with the intro of the all-new flagship Aurora 8-wheeled XTV. The Aurora broke new ground for Argo, and we're going to highlight the effect this new chassis has had on the value-targeted Argo Frontier series. At first glance, on a purely aesthetic basis, the new Frontier appears very much the brother of the Aurora. The upper body has been completely redesigned and offers a myriad of functional and ergonomic improvements, not the least of which is a relocated driving position to the left side of the cab and a full 20% increase in cabin legroom. The new left side orientation of the driver's perch brings the Frontier into the mainstream of the side-by-side -side market while creating commonality between the Aurora and Frontier Ergo packages. A welcome change comes in the form of a finger pull throttle, replacing the old laggy motorcycle barrel type throttle. Throttle response is now linear and smooth. There's more to the left side driver orientation. All primary controls are located on the handlebars. Engine start, brakes, and kill switch, as well as light controls are located on the left side with a new starting gear friendly hydraulic brake lever now equipped with a parking brake. A tangible improvement for any Argo aficionado is the molded plastic front seat base and contoured foam padding in the new seat bench. This new seat is significantly more comfortable and immeasurably more supportive for front seat occupants. The Frontier mirrors the Aurora with the inclusion of Argo's all-new APS, Argo Progressive Steering System. APS smoothly and progressively responds to rider inputs, eliminating the former jerky skid steer response. The new Frontier is available in both six-wheel and eight-wheel configurations with your choice of 600, 650, and 700cc EFI V-twin power plants. A new ceramic-coated, fully-shielded exhaust system delivers refined, throaty, and powerful engine response to the CVT and the ODG-built high-low reverse classic transmission. The Scout Series 6 and 8 wheelers can be ordered in mossy oak camo and come with a front rack, bush bar, and a worn 3,500-pound winch. You need to drive the new Frontier to appreciate its quality feel ease of operation, and its many common sense integrated design improvements. In terms of durability, Argos are legitimately legendary. There is a ridiculously high number of 20 and 30 year old Argos still in service. Having said that, the new Frontier gets an automotive style, fully sealed wiring harness, which resists moisture intrusion. The new Aurora Drive body features high power sealed projector beam headlights operated from the left side handlebar cluster. Mounted high on the new Frontier's console is a quality sealed digital instrument cluster which clearly and concisely delivers information to the driver. In the last few years, Argo has increased their line of authorized Argo accessories. The new Frontier gets some notable and highly functional accessory racks. The new front-mounted cargo rack is a must for hauling gear to the camp. Front-mounted bush bars are a great addition for heavily wooded trails and deep bush navigation. As always, there's a front and rear mountable worn winch and the legendary Argo outboard motor mount, a full canvas cab enclosure, six foot snow plow, and molded rubber tracks are also available. The new Argo Frontier is more than the sum of its parts. This high value XTV is more capable, more versatile, and better at navigating extreme terrain than any previous Frontier model. Thanks for watching Dirt Tracks TV. If you like the video that you just saw, click the like button and also comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our page, you can do that as well. And ring the bell if you want notifications of future updates to Dirt Tracks on YouTube. Click any of the links on the screen to take you to more Dirt Tracks content. And most importantly, make sure you get out and ride.